Hello and welcome to Furry Ears, well, desktop basically. Um, today, a little bit different for you. Uh, I've got to, I've got to add some bits and bobs. I, I got some gifts over Christmas from Molly. I've got to add some bits and bobs to my system. We've got a uh, flight control thing, do that there, and down there we got a microphone, a professional, professional microphone. Get me. Uh, this is what I'd normally use. Uh, this is the manky little headset microphone thing that I normally use. Works well for me. I've gone through about five of these because they're dirt cheap. Well, they're free to me, but they're dirt cheap anyway. Um, then we've got got keyboard back there. That's that's Molly bought me that too. Uh, I think Molly bought me the mouse as well. Molly buys me most things. Uh, then we've got the cider over there, which is essential for for, for doing this sort of thing. Uh, back there we've got we've got the mixing desk, which can through MIDI inputs can control the audio of the individual things that are happening on the computer. We've got currently got Guy the UK streaming on Twitch, so we won't watch too much of that because uh, you know don't want to annoy him. Uh, then we've got a little mixing desk uh, that is controlling the audio that's being fed to the streaming PC down down there. There's there's the main PC. That's the streaming PC next to it, and that's the streaming monitor that's not switched on at the moment. And that's the mouse for the the laptop that's downstairs. So it was up here last night, so it, it's still up here. And then next to that, we've got the uh, USB ports and the hum destroyer to make the audio going to the streaming PC less hummy. Uh, but today we have to fit the microphone and the flight controller. So I guess I am going to have to have a quick look in these boxes and see what we've got. So I'll be right back. Okie dokie, so, box number one, uh, the microphone. Let's see what we got in here, shall we? Uh, we have got essential pop filter. Eh. Here we go, one pop filter. Nice, with the uh, fancy pants clip on it. Hopefully that will uh, go where we need it to go. Uh, got a schnid, wind, wind, schnidy thingy. Get rid of my panty breath. Uh, I think that is a USB music card type thing because it's got audio feeds. It's got microphone and headset feeds on it. In case your computer doesn't have, I guess, three and a half mil audio connectors on it, we got a little little clampy clampy thing. I think this is this is basically going to be clamping onto the swing arm of the monitor on the right. I uh, don't know how well that's going to grip, but we'll give it a go. I might have to modify that cup in there a little bit so that it's got a ridge it can sort of bind to. Uh, I could just hammer a bit of a flat into that and then it will be more of a, a U shape and hold onto it nicely. Uh, we have instructions. Don't need them. We have the business end of the swing arm. Let's see what this is like. Molly's got exactly the same microphone. She bought two of these at the same time, so... It's got the wire integrated into it. Uh, it's got the professional connectors, don't you know. So your microphone is going to sit on that end. And then that end is going to go into... Where's my swing arm going to go? Let's pop that over there for now. The other end is going to go into this little box here, little box of delights. Uh, and this is a toner phantom power supply. So your, your, your microphone goes in and then the output goes to the back of the PC with a 3.5mm jack, which I believe is this wire here. So we have this this nice little wire here, nice professional looking high quality wire um, with, with that connector on the end there. I am not good with this camera yet, I need more practice at this. And then this, this connector on the other end, the 3.5mm which will go straight to the motherboard. So that should be all good for that. Then we've got another, another little piece here, this is the shock mount for the microphone. with some silica gel, obviously. 
can't get anything these days without silica gel. It's to be hoped the planet never runs out of silica gel. So we've got a nice shock mount. Get a, get a bit of wobble action on that nicely. Uh, so that should uh, keep things nice and stable for me when I'm when I'm banging my microphone about like a hooligan. And then we have obviously we have stupid European power supply, which is pretty much no use to us. How much voltage does this thing put out? This is putting out 18 volts, 350 milliamps. So, I mean, with 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 European plug on it, it's it's useless to me. So that that can go in the heap down there. Uh, so we need the British, the British equivalent, the nice three-pin effective safe plug. Uh, obviously, it puts out exactly the same as the other one: 18 volts, 350 milliamps, off a 240 volt input. Doesn't look like it international. It only handles 240 volts these days. Most things. I've got, I've got a Apple Type One back here. That can go from 110 to 240, so it's quite surprising that that one doesn't actually do that. But it doesn't. But then I'm never going to be sticking at anything other than 240 volts, so it's fine for my purposes. And then we got the beast, the beat, the piece of uh, actual what we wanted. Um, all of this is just window decoration for the microphone itself. A nice shiny blue and silver microphone. Um, apparently the best sound you're going to get from it, the best, best response is with, with it facing you kind of like that so that the logo is facing you. Apparently that's the best way to get a response out of this microphone. Uh, obviously it's got the connector for the wire that we saw earlier. Uh, and that, that concludes this box. This box is now devoid of content. I don't know which way this one wants to go in here now. I'm probably going to get this. Does that go? I'm just checking if that actually will go all the way. Yeah, that one, that one does 180 degree movement, so it doesn't matter which way it goes into there. We can clamp it down whichever way, so we'll just uh, push the bad boy in. Uh, eh, it's a bit snug. It's a little bit snug, but that's what you want, because it is pure pressure fit. It's not. There's nothing else holding that in. So we, that's where that BM700 is down at the bottom there, because we've kind of covered up. Maybe we'll push that back out a bit. There we go. That, that'll be okay. We can see the logo now. That's the important bit, because we need to we need to know which way it's facing. And then we put the the schnoody thing on the end, so that if you don't hear me panting and hard breathing when I'm trying to do something, getting exhausted from playing all the games in the chair. You've got a nice, nice uh, Palace Guardsman's hat on it now. That's nice. So, we will now attempt to in some way install this. So, I shall be right back. Okie dokie. So, we've kind of got the microphone kind of a bit set up here in front of my screen. Not, not entirely sure how comfortable I am with how that sits in front of the screen. It's clamped onto the edge of the desk there. Which is okay. Ideally, it would sort of come through a hole that doesn't exist in the desk back there somewhere, um, and just clamp on there. Uh, what I really want to do with it is somehow mount it to the wall behind, so it can just come forward, sort of mount it over there, sort of thing, and then you can swing on round in front of me here. But I think that would be a different, more sophisticated swing arm than we've currently got at our disposal. So this is this is this is what we're going to work with. Uh, I've, I've taken the obviously the cable ties have come off the wires. Uh, so we've just got the wires all in a heap on the floor. The wire from this microphone is going to run under the desk and having discussed it with Molly, it's going to appear through the, the, the cable conduit, which you can't quite see back there, I don't know if you can catch it under the monitor, uh, and sit next to the hum destroyer. This wire that's running across the desk here is, is also going to go underneath. That's a, that's a throwback to when I was actually getting the streaming PC set up and it just never got put back into the right place. Uh, then this is going to be sitting next to the hum destroyer up there with the wires going in the back obviously there so we have the uh, that's the back of it so we've got the power and the two wires going into that so that will be set sat up over here somewhere next to the hum destroyer so that we've got the, the power well not the power the on off button the functionality to mute the mic just by pressing the button uh, I don't know as I'll ever be using that but it's, it's good to have we're not using the hum destroyer that not the hum destroyer 
pop filter. That is a hot smoking piece of garbage. We, we, it, it just won't stay. When the clamp's loose, it stays exactly where it's supposed to. When you tighten the clamp, it just wibble wobbles all around, all over the place, and it's just not, not viable. So that's, that's going somewhere safe. Maybe the bin, something like that. So I'll just go and uh, hook up these wires down there in the, in the black hole, because uh, it is, I think we've got enough light there to see the wiry mess and the dust and the, the filth and the chaos down there, and it all sort of runs up there through the desk. All oh, a lot of chaos going on there, so much chaos. Um, but that's that's that. It all works. I don't know how well it works, but it all works. So I'll go and get all that wired up, and then I'll be back again. Okay, so we're back. Um, I've now got my my headset on, and I'm actually listening to the new microphone. Uh, I don't know whether that's showing up or not, but you can see the new microphone is showing up. I kind of. I feel I have to be quite near to the microphone and I don't know whether I'm happy about that or not. Um, I mean I can get quite a good response out of it if I, if I do try but generally no. So I, I might need to tighten up some of these because it's a bit it's a bit weeble wobble at the end it just I think I just need to tighten that up a bit so it, it, it sits more like that. Uh, it's kind of in the way of the screen. Sorry, Guyver, I'm ruining your stream there. Um, but when I sit forward, I can see over the top of it, so that's that's not that's not the end of the world. So hopefully, we'll probably have to fiddle with it a bit just to get it sorted and bedded in right. But that that kind of works as it is. So I think that's that's box number one done and dusted. Now we need to move on to box number two, which is sitting on the floor there waiting for me. So, I shall put the camera back on the tripod and proceed. Hopefully the camera's pointing in the right place. I'm still sitting here with my headset on like a muppet, so let's get rid of that. Um, we might just swing the new microphone out of the way for a minute while we do this. Because here's box number two. I'll put it on the desk. It doesn't quite fit into shot there, so I'll have to come down here. Do we have... no we don't have any sellotape on it, so that's good. In the box. We have got two sides to the box and lots of little slots around which I don't think have got anything in. It's all just it's all just fancy pants packaging really. Try and angle that so you can see down in there. Not a lot going on in there, just 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 the two items. Let's start with the joystick itself. Are you gonna come out? Nope. Nope. Wow. The box is fighting back. Uh, yeah, the cardboard also come out separately, so the cardboard can come out separately. Part number one. And part number two. Looks like... Looks like, to me... Is there any instructions with this? Ah, there we go. Driver disc. Nice, nice diddy little driver disc. My CD-ROM drive. Which is getting a little ancient and past it now. Can cope with a diddy disc. They do get a little stroppy in there, a maturity. So we got we got one of these fellas. That's got a bit of resistance to it. Yeah, that's that's a bit stiff that one. Buttons on it. I'm not entirely sure what this thing on the end does, but it feels fun. It feels we've got like a little button thing here that seems to switch in. Yeah, it's got four switches on it, that one. Four little clicky clicks there. This thing just seems to rotate. This thing also just rotates. So, uh, we've got... It's like... Buttons... Ooh, we've got four, so we've got... I guess that's, that's the amount of resistance you have on this thing. Doesn't seem to make an appreciable difference. Doesn't make a lot of difference that. Turn it all the way that way. Maybe it has made a bit of difference. Turn it all the way the other way. Yeah, that, that just doesn't seem to make any difference at all. Maybe it's a scaling thing, I don't know, but it just doesn't seem to make any difference. So that just kind of sits there with your hand on it, like, like so, I guess, and you can reach 
I don't know, I guess there's, there's, there's four different fire buttons possibly. Depends, I suppose it, it, it all depends what we map it to. Uh, I'm not sure what that would be. I'm not sure what that would be. Well, you can, it's all, it's all reachable. I'm not, I don't know whether these are thumb buttons or, or what. We've got a mode button there, that blue one down there is a mode button. All a bit of a mystery to me at the moment. All a bit of a mystery. First one of these I've ever had, obviously. Uh, otherwise I wouldn't need one. So, we're going to try try it with No Man's Sky. Has uh, Guyver finished? It looks like Guyver's finished streaming. So, so we're going to have a nice black screen when we come back. Um, maybe he got wind of the fact that I was recording his stream. Ha -ha. So we'll just undo these little cable ties. Get them off. Uh, no doubt, a nice little man in a factory in China somewhere put those on for me. Let's get some kinks out of this wire. Get it nice and straight. Uh, I'm guessing with the connector on this, which is no connector I'm familiar with for in terms of a PC. Uh, that's that's not one. That's a new one to me in terms of. It kind of looks like a. A, a sort of big PS2 keyboard connector, but it isn't. I'm guessing that is going to go into the actual joystick part of the uh, deal somewhere. Probably on the back, yes, I can see the connector now. Let's get it out the bag and take a look, shall we? That can go under there. Yeah. Oh, it's sticky. It's got sticky pads on the bottom. Uh, it's got vibration on or off. That might be fun. We'll leave that in the on position. See what that does. Can you, can you see that? Eh? Vibration on or off? We'll leave it in the on. Uh, yeah, we've got, we've got four sticky pads on the bottom of that. Uh, it's a Games Power JS285, apparently. For people that like that sort of information, there is the connector that goes with with with, with this fella over here. So we got we got him. And he's going to go in there. Uh, I'm assuming it'll be around the back of the keyboard somehow. Uh, messing up all the wires we've currently got back there already. Because I suspect this fella will be this side. This fella will be over here. Um, it's got a sort of like... It's got like a little rubbery type condom affair going on there. Ooh, little little flappy wheel. I'm not sure what we're going to bind that to, but... Can be fun finding out. Uh, what buttons have we got? The main trigger, this one here, has been labelled as number one. I can see that, but I seriously doubt I'll be able to get an angle where you could see that. Maybe, maybe if we do do something like that, you can see that in there. I don't know. Uh, this one down here. So we got top and bottom triggers. I'm guessing two different types of weapon we could have on the, on the go there. Mains and secondaries, I don't know. Or something else maybe. But that, that bottom trigger I might just disable because it's a little bit tricksy down there. If you if you sort of like grab at the joystick in a hurry, you're gonna you're gonna pull that bottom one. Kind of and uh, it's not ideal. But that top one feels okay. Doesn't feel comfortable with that bottom trick bottom button there. That 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 feels a little off, but that's okay. Uh, we've got I think it's a four way button here again. Yeah, that's four way. You can hear all four clicks. Um, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we up the side here, we've got seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then over onto this one, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So we've got sixteen programmable buttons there. And then we'll have these jockey wheels which are also programmable. And these four way switches I'm guessing are going to be individually programmable so you can do different things with them. Again, don't really know what this is going to achieve. I'll find a purpose for it somewhere. Maybe I could set my my microphone volume to it. Just shut me up, talk. Shut me up, talk. That'll be good. We can have a bit of uh, variability on that one. Uh, and then it's just straight to USB. It's just got a standard USB connector on that. So that will be, again, down past the uh, audio cables, down through the hole into the cable nightmare downstairs and sort out all that lot and then we should have joystick up and running then we need to install some drivers I guess and get this uh, shoot and match on the go 
and we'll try it with a bit of No Man's Sky and see what happens. So while I uh, hook all this up, I shall just pause the camera again and I'll uh, be back shortly. Well, we're in a game. Um, we're in Elite Dangerous. Some of my bindings, I've just done a quick sort of throw down set of bindings on the joystick. Got it working eventually. Wasn't happy in Windows 10. Uh, I've got the throttle working forwards but not backwards. I've got the controls completely reversed and it won't go stationary. But this is just these are just teething problems. Uh, we can turn the ship that way. We can turn the ship that way. We can roll the ship. And we can go forwards. Let's give it a bit of beans. Like I say, haven't got the bindings right, so I'm constantly having to put back pressure on the on the. Uh... Yay! Success. Constantly having to put back pressure on the joystick because I've not got the bindings set quite right. But generally, it's working in game, so we we have it. It's not compatible with No Man's Sky. I've now found out. You can't have a joystick in No Man's Sky, so it's a little bit awkward. Um, but generally, I think we're there. So, I am going to say, for this video, for the, the whole unboxing and setting up of technical shizwaz, which we're thanking Molly for greatly, um, we are saying for now, ta-ta!